All right. Like the description says, broken Harley throttle body, 2019 Road Glide. I just want to do a quick video. Hopefully as a helpful tip to those of you who may have experienced this before. So what I did is I put the wrong in my excitement to put on my new heavy breather, which is down here somewhere. Um, actually, first, let me say thank you to some Road Glide Mafia brothers. Uh, picked up this uh, throttle body and intake manifold from Calvin and um, picked up the heavy breather, which is somewhere, anyway, uh, from a brother named Otis. Uh, great, great prices, great, great guys, great communication. Um, so what had happened was I put the wrong screw. I should have somebody filming this in here. And I bust, I cracked the throttle body. So I JB welded it because I had a plan to ride this over to Harley and let them fix it for 250 bucks. That is with, uh, me bringing my own part. So I'm not terribly mechanical, but I try to do as much wrenching as I can. And what I realized is that this throttle body housing just directly bolts to uh, the intake manifold. If I'm saying that right, I think that's what that's called. So I just took this off. So if any of you have ever broke or cracked your housing like I did, I mean, this, this literally, I cracked it and this fell off. So I JB welded it. It's actually pretty strong. I haven't tried to screw anything into it, but hey, you know. It's not what you want to do if this thing breaks off and gets into your intake. You're going to mess up your engine. So so just two things. So that's the first thing is that, look, don't, don't get sucked into having to go to Harley-Davidson for something so simple. It's literally just these bolts here. One, two, three, four. Let me see. Actually, excuse me. One, two, three, and four. And they bolt right up. I mean, you might not be able to see it, but they bolt right up in there. It's really easy. And actually, two of these bolts are for the bracket and I want to bring that out because some of the videos don't just des don't describe this but a lot of people talk about this this bracket is attached here uh, to your um, breather bolt breather bolt holes here and what it does is it holds up this cable you can see it's got a little plastic piece on it that goes through here and it holds that up and kind of keeps it away from the the intake you need to take this thing off um, when I put the new heavy breather on before I cracked it, I didn't take this thing off and I don't think I got a good alignment. You want to get this thing off. You want to be flush to this with your, your new air intake, whatever you choose to do. And here it is. So I picked this up from Otis. Uh, he lives in California. Uh, it's in great shape and I'm stoked. Get a great price on it. So... <clears throat> When you put your, it's called your induction cover. So when you line this up, I'm sorry, it's such a bad video. I'm not a YouTuber, but I want to be a help. So when you line this up, you want the back where those uh, square washers, I call them square washers. You want that flush to this. Now I'll bring this, this cord around somehow once I hook it up. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to, zip tie it or whatever. But anyway, you want to be flush to these bolts. That, that's your best option is to be nice and flush to that part right there when you screw everything in. And then you put your heavy breather on top of that. So I hope this was helpful. I probably should have done a complete install, but it's really, really easy. Um, so what I plan to do, thank you, Calvin, again, great brother, uh, is just take this off by these here, one, two, and then a third one, which is kind of hidden right there. And this housing, which is off, it was off his 2020 Road Glide. He, he did a 130 kit. And I'm just going to separate it from this. And so I'll have this extra body in case anybody needs one. Because um, I'm leaving the stock one on. I, I probably could upgrade. You know, everybody says you should upgrade up the, upgrade this or upgrade this to a SNS. Um, I don't know if it's aluminum or not. But, you know, with finances and everything, I just can't do that right now. And what I'm also doing is uh, just in case you're wondering. So what I have is stock header and I've got, which I, I really like. So this came with the bike. So uh, Chromeworks, the Chromeworks um, 
I guess they're eight HP four and a half uh, slip-ons. I really like the look of it. I love the way they fill up the back of the bike. So I don't want to replace that right now. And again, I don't have the, bun the money. It came with the bike when I bought it used. So I have the uh, PowerVision, DinoJet PowerVision tuner. And once I get the new um, throttle body housing connected, put the heavy breather on, uh, I'm gonna flash the bike and I'm gonna run it. And, and I got it from Fuel Moto, which a lot of people do. And they, they downloaded a map exactly with what I have. Now, eventually I'll change out the stock header. I'd love to be able to decat it. I've changed pipes before on other bikes. It's a pain in the neck, uh, but you save a lot of money than, rather than having somebody do it. So I do intend on getting a full, a full sack, a full sack. I think it's the FX header. Uh, that's my plan for this, for the full stage one. Um, can't wait. Love the bike. Everybody that has their road glide, they love it. You know, we all upgrade our bikes, but I hope that helps. I hope that's a, a good little tip on, you know, saving yourself some money. And like I said, I told Harley what had happened. I told him exactly what happened in cracking this part of the manifold. You can see the, the JB weld in there. Uh, and it welded pretty solid. I saw a bunch of guys on the forum said just JB weld it. And you could probably run it like this, but so, you know, they don't tell you, hey, you know, you could take that off yourself. Some might, some guys, it might be nice and say, hey, you know what, brother? You can take that intake, that throttle body off the manifold and just replace it. And uh, anyway, it might seem like a no brainer to a lot of you, but there's not a lot of YouTubes on video that talk about this. So if you crack it, just take it off. It's three bolts, piece of cake. Get yourself a new one. Hook up with Road Glide Mafia or Road Glide Nation or one of the Road Glide sites on Facebook. And uh, it's a great place to get information and a great place to get good, good deals. So that's where I'm at. That's what I'm going to do. And I guarantee you, after a week and a half, two weeks without riding, even though it's hot here in Phoenix, I'm going to be riding tonight. All right. God bless everybody. Send me some questions if you got them.